Nestled in the valleys of the Eno Mountains in Hillsboro, North Carolina, a seed has been planted. Winding roads meander around nearby Gold Park. A train track cuts through, bringing momentary commotion to an otherwise quiet part of town. An old warehouse building stands by itself, with paint chipping off some of its walls, while other walls have been reduced to a pile of bricks. On the other side of the building, in such an unlikely environment, is the home of a seed destined to grow. That seed is the Expedition School. Still in its first year of operation, the Expedition School is a charter school founded by Patricia Brummett and Tammy Finch. Patricia serves as the school's Director of Business and Operations, and Tammy serves as the Director of Education and Curriculum. This first year has been a roller coaster of highs and lows, with obstacle after obstacle popping up, waiting for the two administrators to solve. Whether it's calling up the county office to follow up on tardy funds from the school district, or having an impromptu meeting in the hallway to quickly discuss the new situation of each day. Despite all of the distractions, Tammy and Patricia have managed to realize their mission of creating a school that uses a project-based STEM curriculum. But the school achieves much more than that. It's a school where music class involves inviting a local jazz musician to come perform, maybe even with some dance moves from one of their principals. A school where the teachers don't teach just to earn a paycheck, but rather to fulfill a passion, where the term one-on-one -on -one education is taken seriously. A school where therapy dogs stop by to help kids clear their mind and escape the classroom momentarily on a walk. A school where young and old, big and small, all come together for the sake of education. Tammy and Patricia first conceived the idea for a new school while working together at a school in Chapel Hill. Both had developed an affinity for project-based learning and wanted to explore the possibilities of a more fluid schedule for students throughout the day. They wanted to try something different and give parents the choice to choose something different. Luckily for them, their ambitions were coincided with a raise in the cap of NC charter schools. Their vision was soon to become reality. Yet, running a school isn't an easy job. As administrators, their job descriptions include a lot of behind-the-scenes work in order to make sure the school can run smoothly, checking up on paper copy allotments to make sure a cap isn't breached, but also interacting with the students, which can sometimes require a little authority and strictness. But these two women do a lot more than is listed in their job description. Most days, their mornings start out as mothers, chauffeuring their children to school. Some days, they are delivery women, making sure a child's forgotten lunch makes its way to the proper hungry stomach. Other days, they fill in for a teacher as a guest storytime reader, or actors in a promotional video for the school's readathon fundraiser. They might even be asked to be computer specialists, helping a student figure out a misbehaving laptop. And even on the coldest days, they are traffic controllers calling out for students as their parents roll through the carpool line. An art gallery audience, listening to a young artist explain his masterpiece. No matter what role the school acts of them, Tammy and Patricia embrace all of them. Some nights, they serve as tour guides for the school they've created, explaining to parents what their school has to offer. And as the parents listen intently, the children themselves, unaware of the importance of the moment, turn to their parents prodding for a reason to go home. But the best educators know what to do, and engage the listless children, making them invested in the situation as well. As the tour ends, parents dote around hoping to get a chance to speak one-on-one -on -one with one of the administrators, seizing any moment of solitude to ask their burning questions. On a very special day, Patricia and Tammy even serve as lottery hosts, running a random lottery to determine which students will make it into the school the next year. All while parents anxiously look on, wondering if their child will be able to attend the expedition school. Yet, it's not just the parents with that look. For these administrators, in an ideal world, everyone who wanted to attend would be able to attend, but given practical limitations, choices have to be made. But at the end of the day, Patricia and Tammy have made a wonderful choice. In the speech given at the opening of the school, Tammy said, If you have ever had a dream, and it seems impossible to achieve, and there were many obstacles in the way, 
Don't give up. Don't listen to those who might tell you it can't be done. Just look at us. We are not superheroes. We are just regular people with big dreams who are ready to work hard. And thus, a seed was planted.